yeah, it's absolutely. Yeah, I definitely bent those bars on that last little drop. I don't have enough experience off-road, but I can tell you right now that this bike was not really designed to beat the hell out of the handlebars already it bent i bent this before and i dropped it last year but i dropped it hard last year today i mean it literally just fell down i just couldn't hold on to it anymore because i i had the uh had the handlebars in full lock i did a slide turn i had the handlebars in full lock and when i went to hit the gas i thought i was in first but i was in second so as a result the bike stalled and then it just dropped Landed here, didn't damage anything. Hit the lever, they kind of hit simultaneously. But you can see the handlebar clamp is clearly bent. It's bent up. Yeah, look at <laughs> they're definitely not in line. One is this way, and the other one, one behind it is that way. So I don't know which if this one bent up or the other one bent down. Hard to tell. But you can see. I may have to invest in some heavy duty handlebar clamps. Maybe that'll help. I don't know, I'm debating getting a new, a new handlebar, but I'm thinking, well, I'm still learning a lot of skills off-road. I'm bound to drop the bike a lot. So if I get new handlebars, these, well, I may have to get these now, but if I get new handlebars, um, I don't know. I don't want to damage the new bars. I might as well just keep these till I fucking break them. Just get new clamps. Keep these bars until they fucking get busted, completely busted up. And then I'll replace the bars. Uh, otherwise, looking pretty good. I got a new, new little piece on the back. I installed a rear rack. And then this is a, this is just the, uh, the base plate, base plate for a, uh, top case. Now, it's not for everybody's taste, but if you've watched some of my videos, I've been, I've been in this, been in the, uh, been on the lookout and search for a, like a small ADV. And at the moment, there's not a whole lot available in and around this city, mostly because of COVID and supply chain and all that, and a lot of Thai companies that import a certain brand are in negotiations for some of the models. I'm not exactly sure how it all works out, but I know when I went to the KTM dealer, they said they're not gonna get the uh, 390 Adventure until next year. BMW said the, the G310 GS, um, there, there might be one available somewhere in this country, but not locally. So other than that, you had the Versys 300, which I, the X300, which I liked. I actually took it for a test ride. I didn't film it, but I went back to the uh, Kawasaki dealership and took that out for a ride. I mean, I like the look of it and actually like, I guess the, the feel, the ergonomics when you sit on it, the price was right. You could get that thing out the door for under five grand, but so at this point, <laughs> other than the, Ch if you saw my one video with the Chinese, the Chinese adventure bike, the uh, RX-1, they don't even sell them in America. I think they start with the RX-3 CSC out of California, I believe. Um, but the RX-1 is pretty popular in countries like Pakistan, India, Indonesia, and uh, Thailand has a few. There are a couple importers, but it's not a popular bike. You don't see them out there. 
they've had that on the showroom floor for like five years the, the model that i sat on in a previous video i really am just looking for two things i was looking for something i could where i could go somewhere lock up my jacket lock up my helmet and take something out on the bypass well i managed to to solve one problem i managed to solve just the one problem uh oh here we got some dirt bikers so yeah here are a couple guys man these things are what do we got here out here on a Sunday afternoon just having some fun but uh yeah getting back to this so at least I managed to I'll put a couple pictures on the screen but I managed to install this get a top case so now I can go somewhere take off my jacket and helmet and feel like everything's secure but uh doesn't solve the issue of taking this thing out on the highway and you still got a 230 well actually it's a 33 cc single cylinder vibrates to death just doesn't feel that good if you take it easy it's fine just go in a straight line it's no problem all right so we're gonna get out of here 